Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Richard Irving from the Xbox Engineering Team. Richard, good to see you again. Always great to be here. Listen, October is another great month for Xbox One owners. What new features have you guys been working on, and what are we going to see? So the October release is a big release for Snap Mode. Uh, if you remember in June, we added Double Tap to Snap and the Snap Achievements app that allows you to track your progress against achievements in real time. Right, you can kind of go back and forth and see, still have your game, the complete game up, but also look at your achievements over there on the right-hand side. And we received a bunch of positive feedback about that, uh, as well as some additional feedback on other experiences that, that our fans wanted out of Snap Mode. So let's talk about those. Well, so first is uh, better UI control over Snap Mode. So prior to the October release, you have to go back out to home in order to close the Snap app, snap a new app, or just get out of Snap mode altogether. Right. Uh, now we're adding a piece of UI when you double tap to Snap that will give you control over quick focus, quickly toggling focus between the Snap app and your game, mm -hmm. or to close the Snap app altogether or snap a new app entirely. Our fans also ask for uh, some of their favorite uh, Xbox 360 apps from the uh, Xbox 360 guide to make an appearance in Snap. And so this month we're adding uh, two new Snap apps, uh, one for the friends list and one for messages. So I, I think we've improved on what was a great experience with the Xbox 360 guide by giving you the ability to run the two side by side. And you can get in and out pretty quickly. So Richard, what about messages? I can use that in Snap mode as well, right? That's right. So we've added a Snap messaging app so you can quickly respond to messages that you uh, that you receive while in game or, or watching a movie or doing anything on the system. Uh, but we've also added conversation view or threaded view uh, to the messages app so that you can see a running conversation conversation between you and uh, your friend uh, and, and keep that context as you're conversing with them. So, so now when one of my friends responds, okay, I can kind of roll back and say, what, what were we talking about again? That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, so one other cool feature, uh, one other cool feature of Snap Center is uh, we've added the ability to uh, simply double tap and then hit the X button on your controller and save off the last 30 seconds of gameplay, a lot like Xbox Record That. Uh, if you have a Kinect sensor, if you don't have a Kinect sensor, just double tap, press the X button on your controller, and you've got the last 30 seconds of gameplay. Richard, there's also a cool uh, feature with achievements. Let's talk about that. So we've added uh, the ability to see which of your friends have earned a specific achievement. So imagine you're having trouble earning an achievement. You know which of your friends to ask for help. Uh, you want to know who to brag to, who you've joined, uh, who else is in this club that's earned the same achievement as you. You know who you can brag to. So you can take a quick look and see who has it and who hasn't. That's right. What, what other new features can we expect in October? With the September update, we launched uh, the Media Player app that allowed you to play media from USB. And this month, it gets an update allowing you to play media over your network. Ah, so for those folks that have a DLNA server in their house, this is for you. That's absolutely right. And even more good news, we're also adding MKV support this month. Richard, the friends section is something I hear about all the time, and we've made some improvements that are going to be rolling out to everyone soon, right? Yeah, so it's a new area on home that gives you, at a glance, uh, what your friends are up to. Uh, the top games that they're playing, and a really cool gamer score leaderboard that shows you how much your g friends have earned in gamer score over the last 30 days, and how you compare uh, how you compare against them. It's been in preview for the last couple of months to select members of the preview audience. Uh, we've gotten a bunch of great feedback on how to improve the experience, uh, and we're making our last minute uh, tweaks and adjustments to it, so it's rolling out to all preview members with the October update, and then uh, when the October update goes live, every Xbox One owner will have the new friends section on, on their console. Richard, lots of stuff this month. Anything else we missed? Uh, well, September has been a really big month for uh, launching Xbox One in a bunch of new markets. And uh, with the October update, uh, 12 new markets are getting the, uh, the One Guide and a bunch of cool new live TV features. Richard, thanks so much. Of course, that's not everything in the October update. For more details, check out Xbox Wire at news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com. Richard, thanks so much. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for having me.